Hi there, welcome to the Andy Frost Vocal Percussion Garage Sessions. I thought I would do a series of these for a bit of fun for the kids, maybe the adults too, but mainly the kids um, and kind of get you into a little bit of my style of vocal percussion. Now, through the last 10 years or so, I have been doing vocal workshops, but I thought what I'd do this time is pay, take it to the living room. Uh, well, my, my case, the garage, maybe your case, the living room or kitchen or wherever, uh, and we'll, we'll teach you some little sounds and you can go away, have a little practice, and the next one, we'll keep making it a little bit more advanced and get a few more sounds in. Right, that said, let's jump straight into it. First one is gonna be, very easy, a hi-hat sound. Now, when your parents annoy you, you might tat at them. It's something very natural that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So what we wanna do is we wanna try the tutting, so we just let you go t, t. Okay, all right, t, typical, t. Okay, that's the sound we're after, t, t. But then what we do is we just tighten the sound a little bit, make it much more of a T sound. That's the hi-hat. That's pretty much a natural sound and something that we can practice rhythm and practice in staying in time with something. We could count ourselves in, stay at a certain rhythm and keep that hi-hat going. So we'll try that now. Okay, I'll count four and then you come in. So the speed that I count. One, two, three, four. Okay. Nice and easy, keep yourself nicely in time. Right, that's the first one, that's a hi-hat. That's a hi-hat that you'd, on a drum kit, you'd probably, you would strike that hi-hat on the top. That'd be the nice toppy hi-hat sound. You've also got your foot hi-hat, which is what plays and shuts on a real drum set. The hi-hat, has got the two cymbals, they shut together. It's often a softer sound. So we're gonna try and do that. We've got the t, -t, -t but now we're gonna go for the F hi-hat, okay? So literally, I'm using my teeth here, and I'm just touching the bottom lip. I'm not going and pushing hard. It's a very soft sound, all right? So again, if you can get that, and we'll try that after four and keep that in rhythm as well. One, two, three, four. Simple as that, all right? So you, again, that one feels a little bit different, depends on the teeth shape. And so you, then what we try to do is we do the T hi-hat and then the F hi-hat, okay? So here's my T hi-hat and here's my F, a bit of visual aid, all right? We've got the T, we've got the F. After four, we're gonna do them alternately. One, two, three, four. Good, got the idea of that one? One last thing before I go, okay? A little thing to try. In drumming terms, we have this rudiment on the drums between our hands, which we call the paradiddle. Literally, it's paradiddle, paradiddle. On the diddle, the two syllables, you double the hand, okay? You can do exactly the same with the mouth. It's a really nice warming up tool before doing any other sense of beatbox. You're just warming yourself up, okay? We're gonna go with the F, here and the T, 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 this side, all right? We're gonna go. T, t, and then we swap it the other way around. T, 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 t. Okay, it's pa, re, di, do. Pa, re, di, do. But with those two sounds. Okay, and we count it in and we go one, two, three, four, and then we start at that speed and play that routine. After four, one, two, three, four. go that fast the point is you can keep it together have a little practice with that right that is it for today we're just doing those two hi-hats you can add all different uh, combinations of rhythms with that if you've got an idea and you want to mess around you could do something like now 
yourself. Go and sing, you know, practice that a little bit. But just those two sounds will give you a little rhythm. That's all I'm doing today. Enjoy the sun. I'll see you on the next one. All right, give me a little comment if you liked it or you didn't like it. Absolutely fine. I'll try and uh, write back to you. Best of luck and see you on the next one.